When you first set up a Xero account, you're given the opportunity to enter your opening balances, although they can be entered at any time from this main dashboard. If you go to the Settings tab, General Settings and Conversion Balances. So if, you're, if you have been using a previous accounting system and now you're moving on to Xero, you'll have balances in your previous system that need to be transferred over. So these are conversion balances or opening balances. So first of all, you need to come choose a conversion date and that's the date you're going to stop using your previous system and start using Xero. So here I've got a date which I'm going to keep. So I'm going to start using Xero from October 2013 and it tells me underneath for this conversion date I need to enter the balances as at the 30th of September 2013. So I need to get the trial balance from my previous system as at the 30th of September 2013 and enter the balances against all my accounts in my chart of accounts. I've only got four showing here because I want to particularly talk about these four, but you can see I can show all of my accounts by clicking on this link here. Now I did say you just need to enter the balances from your trial balance against the same accounts in zero, but there are exceptions and the first exception is the bank accounts. Now Xero works from the bank statement lines. So if you may have had um, transactions in your previous system which are not yet showing on the bank statement. So what you need to do is to um, actually enter the actual bank balance. There's a couple of actuals there. So if I look at my trial balance from my previous system for my business savings account, it says my balance is 2500 if I look on my statement on the 30th of September, it tells me my balance is 2000 And that's because there's been a transaction worth £500 that has not yet come through on my bank statement. So I need to enter 2000 against the, uh, the business savings account. And I need to enter that other 500 against unpresented funds. Now, if you've not got a code for unpresented funds in your chart of accounts, you can make one and enter it here and then you can put the difference in Oop, 500 put the difference in so that when that 500 does appear on the bank statement line it can just be coded against the unpresented funds and cancel that out the other things i need to talk to you about is accounts receivable and accounts payable so accounts receivable as at the 30th of september are all the sales invoices and credit notes that are still outstanding on that date and the accounts payable or all the purchase invoices and credit notes are still outstanding on that date as well. Now if I enter balances against these two accounts, either or, um, when I click save I'll be taken to a screen asking me to enter all those sales and purchase invoices and credit notes. Now if you have lots of of outstanding sales and purchase invoices, so 20, 30, 40, you might not want to enter them into the screen one at a time because it take a long time. You might want to actually use the import feature in Xero, which you can't access from the conversion balance screen. So what you need to do for this moment, you leave them at zero so that you will be able to save. You will then go and import your sales and purchase invoices, and then you'll be able to come back and put the balances in and save. So I'm going to leave these at zero, which means my there are some adjustments because my debits and credits don't match. One these will now this adjustment will now show in the historical balances on the balance sheet. Um, but when I come back, enter these balances and resave, everything will uh, match up and then everything and that will come off the balance sheet. So everything will be updated. Then one last thing is the VAT account. In Xero, there is only one VAT account. So if in your previous system you have more, say three, you need to add those balances up and you need to enter them as one balance against the VAT code. Now, if you've got any um, questions or any doubts about what you should put in your opening balances or your conversion balances, then please consult your accountant before putting them in here.